O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. For all thy saints, O Lord, who strove in thee to live, who followed thee, obeyed, adored, how grateful him receive. They all in life and death, with thee their Lord in view, learn from thy Holy Spirit's breath to suffer and to do. For this thy name we bless, and humbly beg that we may follow them in holiness, and live and die in thee. Lord, I cried to you for help, and you have healed me. I will thank you forever. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me, and I have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, I cried you for help, and you, my God, have healed me. O Lord, you have raised my soul from the dead, Restore me to life from those who sink into the grave. Sing psalms to the Lord, you will love him. Give thanks to his holy name. His anger lasts a moment, his favour all through life. At night there are tears, but joy comes with dawn. I said to myself in my good fortune, Nothing will ever disturb me. Your favour has set me on a mountain fastness. Then you hid your face and I was put to confusion. To you, Lord, I cried. To my God I made appeal. What trouble would my death be my going to the grave? Can dust give you praise or proclaim your truth? The Lord listened and had pity. The Lord came to my help. For me, you have changed my mourning into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. So my soul sings psalms to unceasingly. O Lord my God, I will thank you forever. Give praise to the Father Almighty. To his Son, Jesus Christ, the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Lord, I cry to you for help, and you have healed me. I will thank you forever. Happy the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt. Happy the man whose offence is forgiven, whose sin is remitted. Oh, happy the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, in whose spirit is no guile. I kept it secret and my frame was wasted. I groaned all day long. For night and day your hand was heavy upon me. 
Indeed, my strength was dried up, as by the summer sea. But now I have acknowledged my sins, my guilt I did not hide. I said I will confess my offense to the Lord, and you, Lord, have forgiven the guilt of my sin. So let every good man pray to you in the time of need. The floods of water may reach high, but him they shall not reach. You, my hiding place, O Lord, you save me from distress. You surround me with cries of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will give you counsel with my eye upon you. Be not like horse and mule and intelligent, needing bridle and beer. Else they will not approach you. Many sorrows as the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, loving mercy surrounds him. Rejoice, rejoice in the Lord, exalt you just. O oh, come, ring at your joy, all you are bright of heart. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come at the end of the ages. Happy the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt. The Lord has given him power and honour and empire, and all peoples will serve him. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who are and who were, that you have taken your great power and begun to reign. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged, for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, and those who fear your name, both small and great. Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they love not their lives, even unto death. Rejoice then, O heaven, and you that dwell therein. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord has given him power and honour and empire, and all peoples will serve him. He who is unmarried is concerned with God's claim, asking how he is to please God. A woman who is free of wedlock or a virgin is concerned with the Lord's claim, intent on holiness, bodily and spiritual. The virgins come before the king, they sing for joy. The virgins come before the king, they sing for joy. They are led into the temple of the king. The virgins come before the king, they sing for joy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The virgins come before the King, they sing for joy. Come, Bride of Christ, and receive the crown which the Lord has prepared for you. My soul glorifies the Lord, 
My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is name. His mercy is from age to age. On those who fear him, he puts for his arm in strength, and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones, and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects his really servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, world without end. Come, Bride of Christ, and receive the crown which the Lord has prepared for you. Christ the Lord, praise, praise those who follow the way of virginity for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Let us proclaim his love and pray. Jesus, King of virgins, hear us. Christ our Lord, you presented the church to yourself as a chaste virgin to her only husband. Make her pure, holy, and faultless. Jesus, King of virgins, hear us. Christ Jesus, the holy virgins went to meet you with the lamps burning bright. Keep alive the flame of fidelity in the hearts of religious women. Jesus, King of virgins, hear us. Lord, you have always preserved your church in purity and soundness of faith. Grant to all Christians a faith that is true and complete. Jesus, King of virgins, hear us. You bring joy to the lives of your faithful as they celebrate the feast of your holy virgin, Saint Scholastica. May they also rejoice in her constant intercession Jesus, King of virgins, hear us. You have welcomed your holy virgins to the wedding feast of heaven. Invite all the dead to the feast of eternal life. Jesus, King of virgins, hear us. At the Saviour's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Lord God, may we, like Saint Scholastica, serve you with unsullied love. Then our joy, our joy will be full as we receive from your loving hand all that we desire and ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. 
A man. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.